Welcome to showandtell-graphics.com and I have a video tutorial called Twilight Moonrise. This is the picture that we'll be starting with and whenever you open up a picture it usually has the layer as a background and we want to change that to a standard layer. Double click on the layer and we'll name it Mountain. Now what we need to do is remove the sky from this picture so we can create our own twilight sky. We're going to use the pen tool to select it. So we're going to click on the pen tool. And you want to start right in the corner here of this mountain and click and just click all around the mountain. Uh, it's better to stay just on the inside so that we don't get any of the sky. So just keep clicking all the way across. Once you get to the other side you'll want to hold the shift key down and click in this upper corner. Holding the shift key down will give you a nice straight line. And then go to the other corner and do the same thing. Shift and click and then back to our shift and back to our original click. Now we're going to need to change this path to a selection and we'll do that by clicking on the path tab then clicking on the load path as a selection button and then we hit delete hit control D to deselect it and there we have removed our sky now we're going to have to create a new layer for our sky so we'll click on the create new layer button and we will call it sky and the sky layer needs to be below the mountain layer so we'll drag it underneath and we're going to create a gradient for the sky so the first thing we'll do is choose our colors so click on the foreground color tile and I'm using a color of purple which is 9966FF click OK background color tile I have a blue 000066 for that color click OK we're going to go to our gradient tool and we're gonna come from the bottom and pull up and then we filled our sky and now we're gonna add a little glow to our mountains so we're gonna click on our mountain layer click on the blending options button down here and click on blending options and we're gonna click the outer glow we're going to bring the size of it up a little bit. And I think I'm going to change the color here to an orange. Okay. And then we'll bring the opacity down a bit. Let's give it a little soft glow and click OK. Okay, now we need to make our mountain picture look like it's nighttime. So to do that, we're going to go Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast. We'll bring the brightness down and the contrast down. And you just got to play with this until you get what you're looking for. I think that looks OK. And then we'll click OK. And now we need to move our moon picture in. Um, I found this picture. Um, search in Google Images. Just search for moon and you'll find all kinds of them. Click the move tool and we'll just drag this right onto our document. Then we're going to rename this layer moon. And on that layer we're going to change it from normal to screen mode. And that'll allow it to blend in with our background. This moon's a little bit big for my picture, so I'm going to resize it. I'll go Edit, Transform, Scale. Hold the Shift key down to where we want it and click Enter. Next, I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Edit, Transform, Rotate. And just pull on this handle and rotate it until you get it where you want it. And click Enter. 
and then move it up where you need it. And the last thing we need to do is create a reflection of our moon on the lake down here. So come over to our moon layer, right click on it, and click duplicate layer, click OK. And we're going to go to edit, transform, scale, and we're going to grab this top handle here and drag it straight down, and not all the way down to copy it, a little bit short and then click enter. Then with the move tool, we'll pull this reflection straight down into the water. And then we just need to add a little wave ripple to it. And we'll do that by going filter, distort, ripple. I have the amount set at 100% and the size set to small and click OK. And there you go. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Come back to showandtell-graphics.com and have a good day.